Hello grade 6 learners, I'm teacher Ora Jacinta from Greenville School, Skamulu. I'm going to take you through English lesson. And our lesson for today is order of adjectives. And here we have two words. The first word is order. And the second word is adjectives. We have to first get the meaning of these words. So, order is an organized manner of, an, of arrangement. An organized manner of arrangement. Higher. The second one, which the second word, which is adjective, means a word or rather words that are used. To describe a noun or a pronoun. Yeah. For example, we have the noun boy. We have the noun boy. How can we describe a boy? We can describe a boy in terms of height. In, in terms of height, so we can say that the boy is tall higher how the boy how the boy performs you can say the boy is hard working in terms of appearance we uh -huh, so we have said hard working in terms of appearance you can say that the boy is handsome uh, so these words that i've said in red these are the words that we refer to as adjectives they're describing the noun boy uh, we can have another noun like dress, like a dress. Uh, if the dress is made out of wool, we can we say that the dress is woolen. <clears throat> if the dress comes from Africa, we can say that the dress is African. So the words woolen and African are adjectives that are used to describe the dress. Uh, in some cases, a, a noun can be described using more than one adjective. And in such, in such a case, we follow a certain order. And the, in, in, when following that order, we come up with an acronym. I have the ball. And this ball can be described using more than one adjective. We can describe this ball using its color, its shape, its origin, because I can see a label here made from China. We can all use that. Now we, should, we have to follow a certain a certain order, and we come up with the acronym O C H A O M. Now the the O in our acronym stands for opinion. Opinion is what I think about the ball that I have. To me, I can say that it is beautiful, and to someone it can be ugly. So I choose to use the word beautiful since I am positive. So we say beautiful. C stands for size. Size, the size of this ball. We can say that the ball is small. The sh here stands for shape. The shape of this ball is a sphere. So we say that the ball is spherical. The A here stands for age. And by looking, looking at this ball, it does not look like new. So we say it is old. So in terms of age, we say it is old. The C here stands for color. The most dominating color on this ball is yellow. So we can say yeah, the ball is yellow. The O here stands for origin. And the origin from when I read from this label, it's written made, from, made in China. So we say it is a Chinese.
higher. The M stands for material. What has been used to make this bone? It is made out of leather. So the material is leather. Higher. P here stands for the purpose or rather the use of the ball. And you can say this is a the ball here is handball. So it's used for playing handball. So it is handball. So the purpose here or the use handball. So we have described our ball using all these adjectives. Ball ball. Therefore, in a sentence form, we can say that the head teacher donated a beautiful, small, spherical, old, yellow, Chinese leather handball ball to the team. I'm going to write some sentences here and I will expect you to help me to answer them. So, our first sentence. When you come across such a question, this is how we should do it. Uh -huh. The question goes, Congestina likes dash 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 gloves for fighting. I'm the word for, let's put it here. The adjectives that we have are attractive, low, green, leather. Now, attractive, which kind of, which form of an adjective is it? Attractive becomes opinion. It is somebody's opinion. So we write there, attractive. Long. Long is an adjective denoting size. So we write long. Green. Green stands for color. Uh -huh. Leather. Oh. I agree. Then finally we have leather. Leather is the material in which the material that has been used to make the gloves. So we write leather. So the correct form the correct form of this adjective was congestina likes attractive long green leather loves for fighting and they get it correct We've gotten it correct ah, yeah. the last one we can have a sentence like this
Aya. Little Kimori had a dash 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 coat. We have the adjectives silken, beautiful, and white. So we erase the previous ones. Now silken. Silken is comes from the any material, anything that is made out of silk. The material is, we say that the material is silken. So the silicon here stands for material. We come and write it here. Beautiful is an opinion. So we write it here. Beautiful. Then white is for color. We write it here. So the sentence reads, Belitlu Kimori had a beautiful white silken coat and that's where our sentence is correct it's questions at trial number I hope we will we will be able to we will be able to tackle the three questions. Let's let's meet tomorrow. Let's meet the other day. I'm traditioning to learners. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Enjoy the rest of your of the day. I'm traditioning Till next time. Bye.